Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses Gemini torture fest, I mean, uh, challenge playthrough. Um, going through with, uh, only attacking with creatures that have been ritual summoned. Um, yeah. I know, I've read the comments. I'll think this is painful. I'd agree. This is definitely not a run that you just go, oh yeah, we'll just go do this. This is a, maybe put a little more thought into it than I did to start with. And then um, you're definitely going to be at it for a little while. Um, I definitely don't need that in this matchup. Although actually, I mean, I just need to, get through cards, right? Honestly, I should have just played the pot to trick since it's just one of the best cards for sitting there. Being used for a ritual. Um, I'm gonna actually put this over here. I'm gonna discard the red medicine. Red Medicine remains one of the- a great card to get rid of. Okay, Embryonic Beast doesn't matter. Not too worried about whatever he's doing. Play down a Gaia, I guess? We need to draw our other two pieces for... For that soon. Or for Cosmo Queen. Oh man. Wish I'd kept that Griggle, I guess, but um Now I'd really like to discard the oh let's do it this way. I don't need that much top end to beat Panic. He's not technically that strong. Oh, there's a great target for us. A 1700 attack creature. Well, there is a Queen of Autumn Leaves. It's like a 2,000 attack creature, it doesn't matter. I'd like to not go after this ritual. Oh, and we drew it and we don't have enough summoning power for it. Excellent. Okay. Plop this down. Plop this. Now, I am pretty sure this is going to get over just about anything in his deck um, that he hasn't equipped, but, you know, there's always the... a couple cards that could get over it. So I'd rather have equipped it, but... It's kind of hard to equip it over there. Also, it just got stunned. Which is minorly unfortunate. Okay, Queen's Double is going to actually be very helpful. He should defend with the Wicked Mirror. So just double these. Okay, now we just set up lethal. I mean, nothing just. Just do this. I 
I technically, in two more turns, can summon another Cosmo Queen. Let's see um, if he takes the bait and loses the game, though. Ooh, double equip. Probably on a Zoa or something. Oh, Soul Hunter. Actually quite terrifying. Good thing I have a creature to deal with it. Oh, I'm, uh... Hmm. I've used too many monster zones. That's fine. Give myself a Cosmo Queen's Prayer. I'll leave this face down just because, um... There is some semblance of a chance he attacks it. Um, this guy's actually really scary for this kind of um, challenge because I have to make sure I don't get my creatures stunned. And he plays a whole bunch of traps. So, like... I pretty much just have to bait him out. Unfortunately, this Cosmic Queen is just not in a good spot. Um, it does take Unicorn, though. Okay, that gets it out of the way. It's fine. I should have checked what he fused, but it, it is a Zera. I was kind of afraid of that, but that's okay. Well, that gets rid of the Zera problem. Now let's see if he'll uh, kill one of my creatures with the Wicked Mirror. Nope, okay. I think my Cosmo Queen's a little too close. Um, what do I need for another fusion? Or another ritual, I guess. Put that down. I mean, I guess I have everything I'd need for, um... the Black Luster Ritual, except now my Dancing Elf's dead. But, fortunately for me, this game's over. And now we can move on to other people. Um... I don't think this guy, this guy has a bunch of traps that we could use, but otherwise, I mean, I think we're in, in the clear for cards from people now. I mean, if he had a Malevolent Nuzzler in the slots, that would be nice, but he doesn't. So, nothing is fine here. Go ahead and save, um, and we have enough to do another reincarnation so I can get myself another Black Buster Ritual. Um, so I could actually, you know, have a 
chance of ever pulling that off more than, you know, in late game. So I'll go ahead and try to get one of those. Um, I'll be back in probably 10 minutes after I've reincarnated for an hour. It's going to take a while, so be right back. Okay, there we go. Got ourselves a Black Luster Ritual. Um, unfortunately, it's for this red medicine. It's long past time it goes. So, we are now to the point where we can probably do a Black Luster Ritual once in a while. So that'll be nice. I know we could have technically done it last duel, but, like, that was pretty lucky. Now it's, uh, now the chances of it being in the top half of your deck are greatly improved. Um, now this man's kind of terrifying, because, uh, he can just attack you, and I would much rather avoid that if possible. So some sewer guy, you can go over here and just sit there and look pretty. I'm going to dump a shadow spell right in the middle of the field here. That should slow him down quite a bit. He decides to come forward. Ooh, Glass Sphere. That's a card I kind of have to watch out for, but it not being able to move for three turns is going to be very nice for us. Um... I need to get rid of cards, so... So I can find the cards I actually need. Um, don't flip your Temple of Skulls, by the way, when um, before you use a ritual. Don't have it in face-up defense. That's a lesson that you don't want to learn the hard way. Hmm, Drift is not great. Hopefully he's scared of that card. Oh, well, okay. That's a choice. Um, not a one that I'm happy with him making, but it's a choice. Um, I'm just gonna... I haven't played a guy yet, right? Yeah. This is probably not the best day for me to be recording. I've uh, had a long day. I need uh, more summoning power. Unfortunately, this deck is kind of expensive on that terms. Um, yeah. Well, um, we pretty much just need to draw a ritual. And there's five of them in our deck now, so. Honestly, I can't ritual summon a BLS right now, so. I need to draw a Cosmo Queen Prayer, and. Oh, hey! Now 
Now I just need to set up a win somehow. That's 39. Another one? This might hurt a lot. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's not going to hurt that bad, though. Um, I really wish that, uh, Dancing Elf was not a wind. Oh, wait, I don't even have a Dancing Elf. Um... Will that get him to attack me? Well, let's hope that's not a trap right there to the side of the blast sphere. I just use the curse breaker to slow the robotic knight down a little bit. So Okay, looks like game. Our Cosmo Queen's going away, but it did its job. Kaboom. Honestly, um, this strategy that I'm using right here, where you just bait the AI into doing something really, really bad, um, can pretty much just be used all the time, and it's not the quickest strategy. It's the only problem with it. But otherwise, it's extremely effective, because the AI is horrendous and doesn't understand that if it attacks something, it's probably going to die when it that thing it attacked is next to a creature that has 6,000 attack and their creature has 900. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to Labyrinth Ruler. Now, Labyrinth Ruler is kind of annoying, but it should be okay. Um, the best thing we can do is just trap his AI be by moving to the wall. Um, we should be able to get his AI to just trap itself, which is kind of hilarious, but also really, really pathetic. Um, we opened Ancient Tree um, super, super good. Um, there's not really anything that... Now I don't have to deal with the mirror force that's in his deck, so that's super nice. Um, and there's our Cosmo Queen prayer, so I'm going to get rid of cards um, to try to go for one of those. Um, since it'll change the field for us, it's super, super strong. Um, if we do win this, um, one of the cards we could get from the Swordsman from a Foreign Land, which is just a really good card for us. Um, in terms of uh, just being good removal that we could use if we wanted to. Definitely had a good discussion in the Discord um, the other day about... Um, 
what would be good and what would not be good in a... PvP style setup. Um, and the opinions were quite interesting. Um, surprised that people had uh, done some PvP and they were saying that aggro was honestly not amazing, which is kind of surprising because aggro in this, it feels so good. Because, like, if you go first, right? Like, I just don't see how you lose with an aggro deck. Um, we only need two of these guys for all of our rituals, so... Go ahead and just play it out. Um, the problem is I don't really want to do a Black Lester ritual. Oh, that is a gigantic problem. Oh, those tied. I didn't expect him to use a green capital like that, but okay. I didn't expect he'd be able to get over the Gaia, honestly. I need a Queen of Autumn Leaves, don't I? Hmm. Let's dump one of our rituals. Actually, I should have gotten rid of the BLS ritual because I can't actually perform the second one. And honestly, I don't want to perform any of them. Oh, that's uh, why we keep this in the deck, right? Okay, hopefully this isn't a second green capper or something, and that should be good. Unfortunately, our card flips first um, due to the attack order. This is a shame. Oh, it's a Kazajin. don't know why um, he didn't attack that, but... So, um... What percent chance is it that there's a swordsman from a foreign land there? Yeah, let's just do this. I'd much rather bait him in and then kill him that way than um, any other method because it's just so much safer. I mean, I know I have resistance to all traps, but still not having to deal with any face down monsters is really nice okay well we got through three opponents relatively quickly for uh this deck um and this challenge so that was really good Oh well. Not like I really wanted anything. Not going to go after a gate guardian ritual. That is. It is unfortunately one of the saddest rituals in this game. Uh, 
Um, both of these next two opponents that I could go to are going to take way longer than five minutes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I didn't get a Mask of Darkness, did I? The 18? Or no, it's 25, right? No, I didn't. Okay. I don't have quite a strong enough leader to get it through the labyrinth wall. Um, shame. Otherwise, I mean, I think we're in a decent spot. Um, our biggest issue is going to be getting a Labyrinth Breaker um, and somehow winning the final duel. But otherwise, I mean, we're proceeding pretty well at pace. Um, we've only lost once outside of all of the resignations that I did just to get cards to start the game. Um, so in a pretty good spot um i think that's gonna have to do it for today um i just don't think we have time to do anything else so thank you all for watching and have a nice day